Welcome everybody. Thank you for joining me for a one hour power yoga practice. My name is Tamara Maxim and this is a live video on Facebook but if you'd like to see the videos later or any of the other classes that I've been offering for free over the last couple of months you can find them on my YouTube channel which is Tamara Maxim, my full name. And as well, if you like music for your class and you want to tune into Spotify, I have plenty of playlists under my Spotify account, which is Tamara YPR. So as usual, I like to teach around some kind of theme. And the theme tonight is a little bit of a pun, I guess, a little bit of a yoga joke, because I would like you to bring your awareness to your awareness. And in yoga, we have a few ways that we harness our awareness. Uh, one is through the breath, the prana, pranayama, the control and discipline of the breath. The other is through mantra, chanting, even simple mantras like the word om, or the sound om. And the third is through our drishti, our gaze. And often we say to focus the gaze, but we don't bring a lot of specific awareness to it. And actually in yoga we have nine drishti points or gaze points. And with time and practice, the drishti, the use of the drishti, especially specific places, help you to create uh, your uh, improved concentration and a deeper connection to the practice. So a sense of oneness with the practice, which is really what yoga is all about, creating unity or oneness. So the use of the drishti helps you to stay present and you can carry this deeper awareness into your daily life. Helps you to have more focus when you need to make decisions or when you're under pressure, when you feel like there's a lot of overwhelming information, you can hone in where you need to. And we say in yoga that prana follows awareness. So when your awareness goes deeply inward, your prana or your life energy also goes deeply inward and then you can use it uh, more efficiently and effectively. So today we'll focus on, I guess that's a little yoga joke, on the drishti, the gaze. And one of the intention cards that I had uh, planned to bring awareness to today is the idea of awareness. So awareness is to be aware, to be aware is to notice multiple aspects of any given situation. Awareness empowers you to walk consciously through the doorway of healthy choice. So when you can bring concentration and focus to your gaze, it draws the prana, the life energy inward, and then you have it available to you anytime that you need. So if you hear me cueing different drishti points tonight in the practice, Try to bring your full awareness there. And the main drishti point is Nasaka drishti, the tip of the nose, and it could be like a default drishti uh, focus point for really any of the postures, especially if you feel like you can't turn your head to the side or it hurts to draw your gaze down or even turn the head up. Better just to go the, bring the gaze to Nasaka drishti past the tip of the nose. But I'll try to cue you some, to some different ones and bring a greater awareness of drishti into your practice. So with that little lecture on drishti, <laughs> put that kind of in the, in the backseat of your practice, but also it, let it be the, the driver for the practice as well. And bring your hands to your heart center, Anjali Mudra, and turn your gaze downward. So bring your gaze downward so that the concentration is going toward the third eye. And we call this Brahmadhyaya drishti. So bring Brahmadhyaya drishti into your awareness, the gaze, coming down toward the third eye. This is your intuition, your inner knowing. And from your intuition and inner knowing, find your own personal and collective intention for the practice. And maybe you would even like to bring a dedication into your practice, somewhere to direct this energy flow to. Together we'll open our practice with one beautiful sound of Om. Take a deep, clearing breath in through your nose. A big sigh out your mouth. Exhale. Inhale for Om. Om. And allow the reverberation, the echo of the Om to radiate from your heart center in all directions. Allow that create, to create a beautiful platform, peace and harmony for your practice. Bow your mind a little deeper. Look toward your belly button, Nabi Drishti. 
Blink open your eyes if they're closed. Arms can be released onto your thighs and bring your gaze, your drishti, straight ahead. And then make your way up to standing. We'll meet at the top of the mat in Tadasana pose. You can take your feet hip distance apart or big toes touching. And let your palms open to the side. And you can even take the, the uh, Nasada Drishti right here slightly past the tip of your nose or you can even draw the gaze more upward toward Brahmadya Drishti. Take a couple of deep breaths here, starting to bring in the Ujjayi breath. So already we have Mantra, we have Drishti, and we have Pranayama. Those are the three aspects of awareness in yoga, that deeper connection, that those tools that we have to stay present, focus. Your inhale breath, Urdhva Drishti, bring your gaze up, and you'll bring it up toward your thumbs, and we call the gaze toward the thumbs Angushta Drishti. So as you're looking up, find not only Urdhva Drishti, but Angusta Drishti, look toward your thumbs. Take one more inhale, reach up, arch back, as you exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, look forward and slightly up, Urdhva Drishti. And as you exhale, fold, Nabi Drishti to your belly. Inhale to rise all the way up, Angushta Drishti. Look toward your thumbs as you look up, Urdhva Drishti. Exhale, fold forward. And now you know where to take the gaze. Focus on the gaze. Inhale, look forward. Last hold, Arda, Arda Surya Namaskar. Inhale, rise up. We'll take Surya Namaskar A a few times. Exhale, fold, Nabi Drishti. Look to your belly. Inhale, look forward and up, Urdhva Drishti. As you exhale, plunge your palms. Walk, step or hop back, high plank position, lowering all the way to the belly. Take three cobra poses, looking up. And maybe even Urdhva Drishti or look toward the third eye, Brahmadya Drishti. Exhale, lower. Inhale as you look up or draw the concentration toward your third eye. Exhale to lower. One more time. Bhujangasana, look up either there or to the third eye. Exhale to lower. Now tuck your toes, engage your legs, slowly push through Chaturanga. Uttita Chaturanga Dandasan, all the way back, downward dog. And here's where we take Nabi Drishti. Let the crown of your head come down. Gaze up toward your belly button. Spread your fingertips wide. Five deep breaths. And as we start to move faster through the practice tonight, it's okay for the Drishti to stay maybe on one point, especially if you start to feel dizzy. So that's the time where you would maybe take Nasaga Drishti past the tip of your nose. But if you can, move the Drishti with your breath with your awareness, with your movement. Two more deep inhales and exhale. Start to bring in the Ujjayi breath. Concentrate your focus on your breath as well. Narrow the throat, create an ocean-like sound. One more deep inhale, full exhale. You know, come behind your toes, bend your knees a lot, look forward, walk, step, or hop forward. Halfway lift, lift your gaze, Urdhva Drishti. Nabi Drishti as you bow and fold. Inhale to rise all the way up, Urdhva Drishti. Or look to your thumbs, Angusha Drishti. And then fold forward again, all the way down. Halfway lift, inhale. Plant your palms, walk step or hop back, high plank. And either lower halfway to Chaturanga or all the way. Untuck your toes, take a back bend. Maybe you're ready for Urdhva Mukha And here we look up or concentrate to the third eye. Roll over the toes if you'd like an extra chaturanga. Push back up and then downward facing dog. Nabi Drishti. Deep breath in and a long breath out. Inhale your right leg up to the sky. Open up your hip. Bend your knee. Look underneath your left arm. So when you're looking to the side, it's part of the Drishti. Look to the side. Look for your toes. Inhale that leg back through center. Lower it down. Other side, inhale, left leg up to the sky, stack your hip, open it up, look underneath your right arm, look to the side, Parish for Drishti. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale your leg back through center, gaze to your belly, Nabi Drishti. Full breath in, and a full breath out. 
Step your toes together. If you like, come high on your toes, bend your knee, look forward, walk, step or hop. Halfway lift, take your gaze forward and up. Exhale, fold, belly button, Pass the gaze. Inhale, rise all the way up. Now we'll go a little faster. Urdhva Drishti, or look to your thumbs on Gushta Drishti. Exhale, fold forward. Lengthen halfway. This time walk, step or hop back to Chaturanga. Take your back bend, look up, maybe to the third eye or all the way up. Make your way back to downward dog, taking your gaze to Navi Drishti. This time walk your hands a little closer to your feet. You weight your right hand, reach underneath your body for your outer right ankle tap or thigh. Look underneath you and up. So we would call this Urdhva Drishti, looking up toward the ceiling. But you can also think of Parsva Drishti, turning to the side. Really the eyes are turning up. Deep breath in and a long breath out. Now let's switch sides. So looking, thinking of the gaze as the left hand comes to the outer right ankle calf or thigh. Look up and underneath your arms. So turning your gaze to the right but up. Parsva and Urdhva Drishti. Deep breath in. Long breath out. Bringing your hands back to your center. Bring your toes together to touch. One more deep inhale here, lift the hips high. Exhale, heels press down. Here's your ujjayi breath. Come high on your toes, bend your knees a lot. Walk, step or hop, top of your mat. Urdhva drishti, look up. Exhale, navi drishti, fold. Inhale to rise all the way up. One breath per movement. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga. Find your back bend. Make your way back, extra chaturanga if you like. Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward dog. Come find your toes, bend your knees a lot, look forward. Walk, step or hop, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale to rise all the way up, reach for the top, Urdhva Drishti or Angushta Drishti. Hands to heart center, Nasaka Drishti. Gaze past the tip of your nose. Now I hope you're feeling that sense of concentration, but we take in so much through our eyes and if our eyes are wandering, our mind is wandering. So you bring the awareness inward and the prana inward. Step your big toes together to touch, heels slightly apart, find chair pose, Utkatasana. Take your fingertips back behind you, see if you can grip the mat with your index finger and then curl the tailbone towards the heels. And then as you reach the arms up, look up, Urdhva Drishti. Curl the tailbone towards your heels. Reach your arms up to the sky. Draw the kneecaps back. Hug the outer thighs underneath you and back up and toward the center. See if you can draw the kneecaps back just a little bit more. Concentrate and focus on one point upward. Take one more inhale here. Reach up. As you exhale, lift your hips and hold. Uttanasana, belly button has the gaze. Navi Drishti. Inhale, look forward and up, Urdhva Drishti. As you exhale, plant your palms, walk, step or hop back, Chaturanga. Take your back bend. Maybe Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, look up or to the third eye. Make your way back, Adha Mukha Svanasana, Navi Drishti. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. On your inhale breath, lift your right leg up to the sky. Bring your right knee to your right upper arm. Feel free to stay here. If you have Kundanyasana, you can add that in. Chaturanga arms, extend your toes, maybe hover the back leg. Inhale, sweep your leg back up. Exhale, cross to the right, part of the drishti. Look to the side. Feel free to take an extension of the leg, a fallen triangle or Kundanyasana. Inhale, sweep it back up, look to your belly. Exhale, bring the knee to the chest, draw the gaze towards your knee, but it's really going in the direction of your belly button. Take one more inhale breath here, lift a little higher. As you exhale, step your right foot through inside of your right thumb. Spin your back, heel down, rise up. Warrior one, Virabhadrasana one. Take a deep breath in, pull your outer right hip back, bend a little deeper. Then you can bring your palms together, look to your thumb, Angushta Drishti. Bend your right knee a lot. 
Take another inhale breath, reach up, bend your right knee even more. Look to that thumb, up, into your thumb, the Gusha Drishti. One more breath, then deeper as you exhale. And now take your gaze forward past the tip of your nose. Nasaka Drishti, reach your arms up. As you exhale, interlace your hands behind your lower back. Let the knuckles go toward the earth, chest lift to the sky. Take an inhale breath, look up, Urdhva Drishti. As you exhale, bow forward, letting your right shoulder rest on your right thigh. Turn your gaze down and underneath you, look for your belly button. Navi Drishti. Use your feet as a strong foundation. Pull your outer right hip back, crown of the head down. Gaze up to the belly. Deep breath in. And a deep breath out. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Now use the foundation of your feet. Palms reach to the sky. Gushna Drishti. Look to your thumbs. Exhale. Plant your hands down. Step back. Keep the foot floating and lower. Chaturanga. Take your back bend as you inhale. Make your way back. Adho Mukha Shkanasana. So the poses don't need to be fancy or anything unusual. But when you add in a layer of deeper concentration, suddenly much more effort and concentration involved. Inhale, lift your left leg to the sky. Bring your left knee to your left upper arm, pause here and hold, look toward your belly button. Inhale, bring it back up. Cross to the right side, feel free to add in those variations. Look to the side, parts with Rishti. Inhale, reach your leg back up. Bring your knee toward your nose. You're looking toward your nose, but really in the direction of your belly button, Navi Drishti. Take one more inhale, lift up a little higher. As you exhale, step your foot through inside of your left thumb. Back heel spins down, Virabhadrasana 1. Bring your palms together to touch on Gushta Drishti. Look toward your thumbs. Pull your outer left hip back, right thigh forward. And if it's too much, you can always keep the palms apart and look past the tip of your nose. As I said, it's like a default Drishti point, Nasaka Drishti. And if you can, not only upward, but right toward the thumb. See if you can concentrate on one single point. Outer left hip pulling back, right thigh forward. Knit the lower ribs in. Take one more inhale breath here. Bend your knee a little deeper as you exhale. Now bring your gaze past the tip of your nose. Reach your arms up. Inhale. As you exhale, float the hands to the lower back. Interlace your palms. Take the opposite grip if you can. Knuckles toward the earth. Chest toward the sky. Use your feet as a foundation here. Exhale, bow forward. Left shoulder resting on the left thigh or go deeper if you can. Crown of the head down. So chin toward the chest. Look toward your belly button, Navi Drishti. Let the knuckles come up and over the head. Outer left hip keeps pulling back. Maybe the crown comes all the way down. Take a full inhale breath here. Gaze to the belly. Exhale. <laughs> Sometimes you have to release the grip. Inhale, reach up to the sky. Look to your thumbs if you can. Exhale, palms come down. Let's float back through Chaturanga. Keep that leg lifted if you can. Take your vinyasa. Finding focal point with each breath. Downward facing dog. Deep breath in. And long breath out. And it's kind of like when you pair like cheese and wine or food with wine. You know, you could eat just about anything with wine. But it's nice when it is exactly the right pairing. And that's what we try to do in this practice is to pair the exact gaze point, the exact drishti, with specific poses, and it just gives you the best experience. Come high on your toes, make sure your big toes are touching, bend your knees a lot. If you want to do a couple of leg hops into handstand, spread your fingertips wide. You're going to look between your thumbs, so spread the gaze right in the center of your thumbs, bend your knees, and a couple of leg hops. Keep that focus between the thumbs and then hop between your hands. Halfway lift, Urdhva Drishti, Nadi Drishti, exhale. Chair pose again, Utkatasana. Reach your arms up to the sky. Bring your palms together if you can. Angushta Drishti, look up. Take one more inhale, reach up. As you exhale, fold. 
Inhale, lengthen. Chaturanga. Exhale. Take your back bend as you inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Inhale, right leg lifts to the sky. Right knee to right upper arm again. And if you can, Chaturanga arms, parse the drishti. Look to the side and then as you extend your leg, see if you can look for your right toe, Padaga drishti. Right big toe. Inhale, take it back up. Cross your right knee to your left upper arm. Thread that leg through, open it up. Look to your thumb. Reach up toward the thumb. So your left thumb is up in the air, Angushta Drishti. Maybe stay here or wrap your right hand around the outer right foot and pull it to the top right corner of your mat and then turn your gaze up and to the side. Parse the Drishti or Urdhva Drishti. So the gaze changes with the pose. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, knee to chest. Look to your belly, round the spine. One more breath in. As you step forward, place your right foot between your thumbs. Spin your back heel down, front heel to back arch alignment. And then we rise up. Bending deeply into that right knee. Extending your fingers forward. And now we have a new gaze that we haven't done yet. Hastaka Drishti, right past the tip of your middle finger. Send your left arm back, right arm forward, outer right hip hugging under. Inner left thigh rolls open, but all the while that gaze is right there on the tip of the middle finger. Take another big breath in, open up, bend deeply, exhale. Flip your right palm up, lower your left hand down as you inhale, reach up and back. Take another full breath in here. Find a bind if you like, hand behind the head, turn your heart open, looking up, Urdhva Drishti. Maybe you find a half bind with the left arm or a full bind, hands coming behind the heart. Turn your heart open and look up. Another deep breath in, a long breath out. Inhale, come back through center, warrior two. Hard to Konasana, side angle pose. So we're gonna look towards the left thumb to start. Angushta Drishti, and you can stay here. You can take your right fingertips down onto a block or onto the mat. And maybe you sweep your top arm over your ear, your pinky finger down, thumb up, and then look up, Urdhva Drishti. At the same time, it's to the side, Parsva Drishti. Hug your outer right hip underneath you, roll your inner left thigh open. Feel free to stay here. Or maybe you take a bind, right arm under, left arm behind. You can take a half bind if you like. Keep pulling the outer left hip underneath you. Inner right thigh open. The gaze can be down. If this is too much, you can look to your right big toe. That's a good place to relax the neck. To the side, Parsva Drishti, or up, Urdhva Drishti. Deep breath in, and a long breath out. One more, inhale, and exhale. And now look down to the mat, unwind yourself. So you take your gaze down to relax the neck. Back to warrior two. Now keep gazing forward. On your inhale breath, keep your right foot planted. Peel your left heel off the mat, looking forward. And then up, Urdhva Drishti. Take an inhale breath here. And I want you to bring your gaze to the right thumb, Angusha Drishti, as you turn back. Inhale, come forward. Pass the tip of your nose, Nasaga Drishti. Exhale, Angusha Drishti. One more like that. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist. You can always lower your left knee if you need. Now stay here or bring the palms together. Twist a little deeper. Look to the side, Parsva Drishti. Maybe you lean forward, hooking the left elbow outside the right thigh. Tend your fingertips. Extend your back leg the best you can. Heel rocking forward and look up into the side. Parsva Drishti. Deep breath in and a deep breath out. And you're welcome to stay here or as you change the pose. You change your gaze. Maybe you look up on Gushta Drishti towards your thumb. Maybe you take your right hand behind you, left arm underneath. Maybe you can find a bind. A couple of more breaths here, returning the gaze to the side and up. Deep breath in. Pull your chest away from your thigh. Deep breath out. Now wherever you are, keep your chest lifting. Rise all the way back up. Palms together, 
Ooh, look to your thumbs, Agusha the Drishti. Exhale, palms press down, float it back. Take your vinyasa. Find your gaze point. Keep your prana and awareness inward. Full breath in and a full breath out. One more, look to your belly. On your next inhale breath, lift your left leg up to the sky. As you exhale, bring your left knee to your left upper arm. Feel free to stay. You go for Kundinyasana if you have it. Look towards that left big toe. Bring your left leg up to the sky. Cross your left knee to your right upper arm. Look to the side, purrs with Drishti. Or maybe you come in the fallen triangle. You look to the thumb, Angushta Drishti. Or maybe you wrap your right hand around the outer left foot and look underneath your arm and up. Purtha Drishti, Urtha Drishti. These changes with the pose. Come all the way back up. Lift that left leg in the sky. Bring your knee to your chest. Look toward the belly. Big breath in. As you exhale, step your foot in the center. Back heel spins down. Rise up. If you're thinking to yourself, I didn't realize that the gaze was so important, now you know. And this is what helps you in the real world. When we need to concentrate and focus on one thing, we can eliminate all those other distractions simply with the gaze. So same focal point here, gazing down the front middle finger. Sending your right arm back, left fingertips forward. Hastaga drishti, your gaze just at the tip of your left big uh, left middle finger. Outer left hip tucking under, inner right thigh rolling open. Try to bend that left knee the best you can, maybe making your thigh parallel. One more deep inhale here, extend through the arms, then deeper on the exhale. Viparita Virabhadrasana, flip your left palm up, right hand down, bring it up and back. Find exalted warrior. Welcome to stay here and take your gaze up. Or maybe you take your hand to your head, turn your chest open. Maybe you stay here and go for a half bind or a full bind. And the gaze keeps traveling up, Urdhva Drishti. Keep bending that left knee a lot. Point your elbow up, the same direction as your gaze. Two more deep breaths here. Bend your left knee more, let it track outward. Beautiful release back through center. Might want to heel toe your back foot in just a step. Inhale, lean forward. Parzva Kanasana, side angle pose. So we start with the gaze on the right thumb, Angusha Drishti. Welcome to stay here. Maybe lower your left fingertips down onto Tuck your outer left hip underneath you. And then if you like, Utita Parzva Kanasana, sweeping that right arm over the ear. We're not gazing to the hand anymore. We're looking up and underneath the right arm. Urdhva Drishti, your Parsva Drishti, if you take it to the side. Welcome to stay here. Spiral your right hand behind if you like. Left arm underneath your left thigh. Maybe you find a half bind or a full bind. And again, taking the gaze up if you like. Urdhva Drishti, that might be a lot on your neck. So you can gaze to the side or even down to that big toe. So you decide which is best for you. Padaga Drishti is looking to the big toe. Deep breath in and a long breath out. One more. Inhale and exhale. Now release your gaze down to relax your neck. Spiral yourself all the way back up in reverse. Now keep the left foot planted. Your gaze is forward and now peel your back heel off the mat. Reach your arms to the sky. Now I want you to follow your left thumb with your gaze, Angushta Drishti. So now your gaze is to the tip of the nose, Nasaka Drishti. Exhale, twist to the left, look to your thumb. Two more like that. Inhale, hug the inner thighs toward each other. You can lower your back knee if you need. Exhale, and you're still with that Ujjayi breath. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist. Look to your back thumb. Bring the hands to your heart center. Keep looking to the side. Maybe you hook your right elbow outside the left knee. Here I often need to shorten my stance. Press your finger pads into each other. Look up and back. So it's the side gaze and up 
to the side. Stay here, or right fingertips can come down maybe to a block or the mat. Left arm lifts up, and now you're looking to your thumb. Stay here, or maybe you find a bind. Right arm comes underneath the left thigh, left hand comes behind, maybe you find fingertips or the wrist, power up that back leg if it's lifted, look behind you to the side, part of the drishti, deep breath in, and a deep breath out, keep lifting your chest off your thigh, one more breath, now bring your gaze back down to help you feel grounded and centered, and then reach the arms up, maybe look to your thumbs, Exhale, take your vinyasa. I don't realize when we take the gaze away from center, how much it affects our balance. And how important it is for our balance to have a specific gaze. Take a deep, full breath in, and a long, full breath out. Step your big toes together to touch. We'll take a few little hops for handstand here. So your gaze will be split between your thumbs, Anbushta Drishti, right in half, behind your toes. Welcome to stay here and just press into your hands and walk your feet in as close as you can. You might even want to go to a wall. We'll take five hops here. If it's better for you, you can take the knees out wide and keep the toes together and then take some hops. Five hops. Look exactly between your thumbs. And then last hop, the sixth hop or so, put your feet where your gaze was. Halfway lift, Urdhva Drishti. Exhale, fold. Back to chair pose we go. This time we'll add in a twist. So start with your palms up and you're looking toward your thumbs. Angushta Drishti. And bring your gaze to your thumbs as you bring your hands to your heart. Take an inhale to lengthen. And now you're twisting to the right side. You'll take your gaze up to the side, pars with drishti. You're welcome to stay here. Again, you can open those wings. Look up to your right thumb. You can stay here or maybe come into a side balance. Palms come out to the right. Bend your left elbow. Lean on the edge of your left arm to your tricep. Maybe now you're looking toward your big toes. So when you take the gaze to your big toes, padaga drishti, a lot of things are changing here. So concentrate and focus on one point. Keep your gaze on your right big toe. Maybe swing your left leg back. Kundinyasana A. Beautiful. Come back <laughs> through center. Lift your hips and fold. We'll do the other side. We can use those blocks. Chair pose, Utkatasana. Look to your thumbs. Keep your gaze there. Lean forward, twist to the left. You're drawing your right knee and right hip up. You might look up to the side, parts of the drishti. You might lower your right hand and reach your left arm up. So now you're looking on Gushta drishti to your thumb. Stay right here. We're going to change the gaze a lot by bringing the hands out to the left, still pointing to the top of your mat. Bend your right elbow like chaturanga, lean onto the outer edge of your tricep, stay here. Now start looking toward your big toes, Padaga Drishti. Stay here or keep your gaze just on your left big toe and swing if you can. There you go. Swing your right leg back. Concentrate and focus. Come back through center. Sometimes it's not as smooth as you like. Lift your hips, exhale and fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Stay standing. Hands at your heart center. Samastitihi. Gaze down toward your thumbs. Full breath in. And a full breath out. Really good work, everybody. I know it's a different practice when you add in that extra layer of awareness, but it brings such a beautiful concentration and connection to the practice and guaranteed to help you out there in the real world when you're not here in this yoga bubble. Bring your hands to your hips. So here's where the drishti is really important. You're standing onto your left foot. Start to bend your right knee and bring it up in front of you. 
You're welcome to hold on to the right shin in front, or maybe you can take Kevin Gustafs and a grip big toe lock with a piece fingers on the inside and cap it off with your thumb. Stay here. Well, you're looking forward right now, just past the tip of your nose. Or maybe you extend your leg forward, still looking forward. Past the tip of your nose, reach your left arm up. Take an inhale breath here. As you exhale, open up your stance. And it's okay if your knee is bent and you're holding on to your knee. Now here's where it gets tricky. Your right leg doesn't have to be fully straight, just the best you can. Hug your outer right hip under. Now stay standing strong on that left foot. Can you take your gaze and look to the left and maybe look all the way to your left thumb. Take a big breath in and a full breath out. And then come back to your center. Reach your knee up, reach your arms up. Hinge at the hips, reach your right leg back. Look forward to your thumbs. Warrior three. Nice long extension to the right leg and soften your left knee. Step all the way back and open up to the long edge of your mat. Bring your hands to your hips. Make your outer feet parallel or even slightly pigeon toe the big toes. There are a lot of different gazes that will happen here when we come into forward fold. So think about where you can best hold this posture and what will give you the best connection. You can inhale, lift your chest, look up, or Badrishti. As you exhale, start to bring the chin in toward the chest, look to your belly button, Nabi Drishti. Hands onto the mat halfway, look forward, look up, or Badrishti. And now as you exhale, fold, bringing the crown of the head down between the feet. And you want to concentrate your gaze between your third eye. So get back into Brahmadhyaya Drishti. Then bring your hands on the outer edges of your feet. Bring them around the big toes. Maybe walk them back behind you. You can close your eyes and feel the gaze, concentrating at the third eye, Brahmadhyaya. Feel free to stay here. Maybe you bring the palms underneath the shoulders and you can come right to the crown of the head. And maybe as you hug the elbows in and press the palms down, the feet will lift up. A lot of energy going toward the crown of the head here. Concentrate your gaze at the third eye. Deep breath in. Long breath out. Try to stay two more breaths wherever you are. If you're gone upside down, keep your gaze focused, solid. And as you come down, go slow enough that you can control the movement of your legs. Flex your feet and get your heels down before your toes if you can. Halfway lift as you inhale. And as you exhale, turn your body to the front of your mat, lower your right knee down. Slide it as far back as you can. Feel free to use blocks underneath your hands if you need them. Maybe you can lift your chest. Maybe you place your palms on your left thigh. Or maybe you reach your arms up. And again, you can bring the palms together. Touch your palms together. Angusha Drishti, look to your thumb. And here we are, Anjanayasana. You're welcome to relax. The top of your right foot down, as long as you're pulling your left hip back, right side forward. If this is too much, you can bring your gaze forward. Arms can be parallel. We can pass the tip of your nose, Nasaka Drishti. Take another inhale breath here. One more exhale. As you inhale, let's lift up and back, a little arch back. As you exhale, bring the palms back behind you. Float the arms back as you pull the toes toward your face and can you look to your belly button might help you here to tuck the back toes so feel free to do that if you need inhale come forward and up look to the thumbs exhale float the palms back look to your belly nabi drishti bow in one more time like that moving from anjanayasana to this floating variation or the hanumanasana exhale bring it back and feel free to stay here. If you like, bring your palms underneath your shoulders or to blocks. If you feel that you can go deeper, lengthen the chest forward, bow forward, gaze toward the belly, forehead toward your shin. Or maybe you start to walk your hands more forward, your left heel more forward, right knee more back, working toward your expression of Hanumanasana. Feel free to put a block under your left thigh. 
And if you can, you can gaze past the tip of your nose, keeping your gaze or your head lifted, or maybe you bow in and tip the forehead down, look to your belly. Keep pulling your outer left hip back, right thigh forward. One more round of breath. And then we'll start to walk ourselves out of the pose, bringing your right knee forward until you can plant your left foot down. Plant your palms underneath your shoulders, tuck your back toes, three-legged dog. Sweep that left leg up and stack your hip, bend your knee, look up and underneath you, so up toward the ceiling or the drishti. Stay here or turn your right fingertips out slightly. So you wait your left hand, come high on your left toes, lift your heel, and look toward your left thumb. Take a deep breath in, angushta drishti, deep breath out. Inhale, come back through center, three-legged dog. Take a vinyasa. And we'll just wait all the way back, downward dog. Incline your toes, bend your knees a lot. If you want to take some hops at the wall for handstand, you can walk your toes in closer. A couple of light hops, try to keep your bum with your heels, get your shoulders over your wrist, gaze right between your thumbs. Five hops, nice and light. Gaze is so important to get that float. And then six, one, come forward, Urdhva Drishti, exhale, fold. Inhale to rise. Look to your thumb, Sangusha Drishti. Hands to heart center. Gazing past the tip of your nose, Natska Drishti. Okay, other side, Vitita Hasta Pradhagustasana. I'm standing on your right foot. Hands can come to your hips to start. Gaze is past the tip of your nose just to begin to get steady. That's really the most steady and grounding gaze I find. Bring your knee up and hold on to it. Or Padangustasana, big toe lock. <clears throat> the right arm reaches up to the sky. You can extend that left leg to the best of your ability, even if you're holding on to the knee. Take an inhale breath here. You're still looking forward. Open it up to the side. Hug your outer left hip underneath you. Open up your heart. Your right foot is your anchor here as you start to take your drishti to the side. But not only to the side, but looking toward your right thumb. You can make a mudra here if you like, looking over the hand, take a deep breath in, long breath out, keep that energy flowing inward, beautiful, come back through center, reach your arms up to the sky, knee lifts, yoga dress in a three. I forgot to mention at the beginning of the class, the fourth tool to help us concentrate and focus on mudra is our hand gesture. That's for another class. Soften that right knee, step all the way back. Open to the long edge of your mat. Again, make your feet parallel or slightly pigeon-toed, hands to your hips. Take an inhale, lift your chest. Look up, or the drishti. Exhale, fold. Bring your palms underneath your shoulders. Take an inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release the crown of the head down. You're welcome to go back into a fold, same as you did last time, or maybe the tripod headstand, or you can come to a twist with me, which is nice. Bring the right hand underneath your face. Use a block if you like, left hand onto your left hip. You'll look up and twist to the side, or the drishti. You can stay here, you can look to your left thumb. Stay here, or spiral that left hand behind to the top of your right thigh, and pull yourself <clears throat> toward your left leg, and you can look to your thumb. So, uh, sorry, look to your big toe, look to your left big toe, or you can turn your gaze and look up to the ceiling. So there's a twist and an upward gaze here. Take a couple of deep breaths. Deep, come back through center, halfway lift, inhale. Left hand underneath your face, right hand to your right hip. Start to turn and twist as you look up. You're welcome to reach your right arm up and look toward your thumb, not spine. 
a gushta drishti. That's perfectly fine. You can stay here. You can even use a block under your left hand. Just pull that hand around, maybe to the top of your right thigh. Maybe you stay, or you can walk your left hand to the outer right ankle, calf, or thigh. And you can toward your right big toe. So paraga drishti. Stay here, or start to take your gaze upward into the side yourself towards your leg. Concentrate and focus on one point and breathe. Beautiful. Come back to center, halfway lift. And then you will turn yourself to the front of your mat. And this time lower the left knee down. Up your toes, slide your left knee as far back as you can. Feel free to use those blocks underneath your hands if you like. Try to keep your right knee over your ankle and your left knee will be back behind you. So try not to have your left knee right above your hip, underneath your hip. I'll show you what that looks like. So try to avoid the situation where the knee and hip are in the same line. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Slide your left knee further back. So easy to get tongue tied in yoga. So many things to say in so little time. But just focus and concentrate on your gaze. Anjanayasana. Look to your thumb. Gushta Drishti, take a big breath in. Look up, and as you exhale, sweep your hands back behind you. Straighten your front leg. As you sweep the hands back, look to your belly button. You're welcome to keep your foot flat or toes tucked. Curl your right toes toward you. Take an inhale breath, flatten back into that right foot. Sweep your arms up. Look to your thumbs, arch back. Exhale, sweep your hands back behind you. Look to your belly if you can, Nabi Drishti. One more time. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Pull your right hip back. Exhale, sweep your hands back behind you, Nabi Drishti. Curl your toes. Now from here you can stay or bring your hands underneath your shoulders, maybe to blocks. Lengthen as you inhale, look up. And as you exhale, you can bow in, bringing your gaze toward your belly button. And feel free to stay or slide your right heel more forward, left knee more back. Outer right hip pulling back, left thigh forward. Take an inhale to lengthen, and if you like, again, bow, gaze toward your belly. So basically, as the forehead comes down, you're stimulating the third eye, but you're taking the gaze back toward you, toward the belly button. Outer right hip is pulling back, left side forward, working to your variation of Ardha Hanuman or Hanuman. Start to take your last breath. You can inhale through your nose. Exhale. Palms underneath your shoulders. Slide your back knee in until you can plant your front foot down. Lift your back knee up. Plant your hands under the shoulders. Take an inhale breath. Three-legged dog. Sweep that right leg all the way back and up. And stack your hip. Open it up. Stay or turn your left fingers out to the left. You weight your right hand and as you flip around, the right toes come to the mat, lift your right heel, and you're gonna look back and up. Maybe you see your thumb, your right thumb. Press into your left hand, arch a little bit more. Take another big breath in. As you exhale, flip yourself back around, leg is up in the air. Take your vinyasa. Inhale all the way up for your back bend, and bring it all the way back, downward dog. Next inhale, look forward. Walk, step, or hop through to your seat. Try to jump through with straight legs. Keep your gaze forward. As you're jumping forward, can you keep your gaze on your toes? Padaga drishti, your big toes. And look for them. And look for them as you jump through. It'll give them a place to land. Beautiful, everyone. Come onto your seat. We're going to roll down onto our backs. For a few back bends here, you can keep the legs straight or bend your knees if you need. Just make sure you have some space behind you to roll down. 
Take an inhale, lengthen forward. As you exhale, slowly lower down. And you notice tonight's not a fancy class, not a lot of fancy moves, keeping it pretty simple, but it makes it so much richer to add in that focus and concentration. Bring your palms beside your body. Press your arms down into the mat on your, uh, your feet or hip distance apart. Jiggle your heels. On your inhale breaths, but to lift your hips up. Interlace your hands, knuckles moving toward the heels, and look toward your belly button, not if your shoes. You're welcome to stay here. We'll take three back bends today. If you want to go to Urdhva Dhanurasana, bring your hands beside your ears. Maybe walk your feet just a little bit wider, press into your hands, come to the crown of your head, and then push all the way up. And from here, I like to bring my gaze toward my third eye. So concentrate your gaze in between your eyebrow. Wherever you are, take three more deep breaths. You're either looking toward your belly or looking between your eyes. Two more breaths. Slowly coming down onto the crown, lowering down through little bridge pose. Maybe you release your arms beside you. Take your feet wide, knees together, place one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly, close your eyes, take your gaze again to the third eye, the space between the eyebrows. With your two eyes closed, your third eye open, take a full breath in and a full breath out. Okay, second back bend. And I'm gonna give an option that we can do on the right, on the first, Side, and then the second side we'll do them in two separate sets and when we do this option your leg will be up in the air I'd like you to try to look toward your big toe Padaga Dushti if you can you can do it from either of the variations so start with your hands beside your body or hands beside your ears either coming up onto the crown of the head and pushing up or lifting the hips up you can interlace your hands behind your lower back so finding Setubhana Saranasana little bridge pose and now from here, walk your right foot more to the center. Bring your left knee into your chest. Lift your left heel toward the ceiling. And can you look toward your left big toe? Padaka Drishti. Deep breath in and a long breath out. And now let your head relax. Take your gaze toward your third eye. Deep breath in and a long breath out. See how that changes the pose. Bring your knee back into your chest. Lower yourself down and then reverse that you came in. Bring a hand onto your heart, a hand onto your belly. Sudha Baddha Konasana this time. Feet together, knees wide. Full breath in and full breath out. One more inhale and exhale. Okay, we'll do the same thing other side. This time it will be the right leg that's lifting up in the air. So get ready to look very intently at your right big toe if you're lifting it up. Your inhale breath, either hands beside your hips or hands beside your ears, lifting the hips and interlacing your palms or lifting the hips and popping up onto the crown of the head and then from there all the way up. This time you can walk your left foot more to the center, right knee in, lift it up. I hope I did the right side, if not switch sides, look toward your toe, big toe, and then take your gaze back toward your third eye, let the head be down. Bring your knee back into center, lower it down. And then come all the way down. I might have done the same side twice. I, <laughs> I'm concentrating so much on my gaze, I can't remember. This time take the feet wide, knees together. That's okay. Even if you did the same side twice. You can do the other side later or right now instead of resting. Full breath in and a full breath out. And now cactus your arms. Let your knees windshield wiper side to side nice and wide. Keep the feet and knees wide apart. You can open up your arms in a T-shape if you have the space. It would be really nice because it would be really good to look to your thumb. So if, you, if your elbows are bent, you have to look a little bit higher. 
you can look to your thumbs and drop your knees all the way to the left side. Place your left ankle on top of your outer right knee. You can walk your right foot more to the right. If this is too much for you, you can always stack your knee. And take your gaze directly to the right so you can look toward your thumb. Gusha Drishti. Bring your gaze back through center, looking past the tip of your nose, going to wipe your knees again a few times side to side. And then let your knees fall to the right. You can lift up your right ankle, place it on your outer left knee, and maybe walk your left knee a little bit more, or left foot a little bit more to the left. And then gaze toward your left thumb. Take a few deep breaths. Gently back to center, release your top foot if you have it. Windshield wiper your knees again, side to side, side to side. <clears throat> and then hug your knees into your chest. Have an opportunity for an inversion here. And inversions create a lot of different gaze points. So you could start with the Pravita Karani, arms up and legs up. And you can look towards your hands, towards your middle fingers if you like. Pasuga Drishti, you can look toward your thumbs, Angushta Drishti. You could look toward your big toes, Padaga Drishti. Or you can soften your gaze completely and turn inward toward the third eye, Samadhya Drishti. So feel free to stay here. If you want to take Happy Baby, and wrap the outer edges of your feet with your hands, pull your tailbone toward the mat. Kind of look toward your belly button so you get a little stimulation through the thyroid gland of the throat. Or again, close your eyes and take a soft inward gaze toward the third eye, Samadhi Drishti. If you'd like cloud pose or shoulder stand, cloud pose, you'll keep your feet, knees, and hips over your head. Take your gaze toward your belly button. The same gaze if you lift your legs up, maybe you look toward your big toes. If you're going for headstand, Shirshasana 8, concentrate the energy toward the third eye, Brahmadhyaya Drishti. Wherever you decide to be, take 10 more deep breaths. And every breath, add an extra drop of concentration into the Drishti, remembering that prana follows awareness. So wherever your energy flows, your awareness follows. A lot of different things that you can concentrate on in your yoga practice so many things but sometimes the practice can get complicated and get away from you i find the more you can simplify by finding one focus point for your practice whether it be the drishti or the breath or a certain body part what i've been doing lately as i've been sharing classes it really does help you to bring a deeper awareness that deeper connection that oneness that unity with the practice and that's really what we're going for here not about fancy poses it's not about twisting yourself into shapes it's not about nailing postures it's about the union of the mind and the body it's about a deeper connection with yourself as you're ready to come down out of your inversion you come down slowly if you've been in headstand maybe just sit up for a few breaths or take a child pose if you've been in shoulder stand or Cloud pose, maybe you want to take fish pose, matsyasana. 
pure and, and more gentle and virgin that you hug your knees into your chest. And after you've done whatever it is that you like to do at the end of the practice, lay yourself down gently into Shavasana. Let your legs and arms relax. And this is the time to turn your gaze inward and let the concentration cool at the third eye. Take a full deep breath in. A full deep breath out. And then allow the pool to expand. So the awareness spreads throughout your body. Everywhere becomes soft. Everything is easeful. And you feel completely at one with yourself and your practice. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful rest of your day and from my heart to yours. Namaste.